I've been saying it all season long. This UTEP women's basketball team is a fun group to watch. Tonight they face their toughest challenge to date. Miners hosting 21st ranked Middle Tennessee. The last and only time a UTEP women's basketball team defeated a ranked opponent. You have to go back to 1998. So fast forward 25 years later. Miners with an opportunity to make history. Blue Raiders undefeated in conference play in first place. Miners get out to an 11-2 lead. Aaron Wilson with the bucket from underneath. Then it's Alina Arik with the trifecta, but Middle Tennessee sticking around back-to-back -back threes would tie the game, and from there, the game would stay close as UTEP trailed by two at the half, 34-32. Fourth quarter, Miners keeping pace. jay on Jackson for three, perfecto. Game tied at 62, and just check out the defense right here by the Miners. Final ticks in this game, just perfection defense. We're going to get a jump ball here, so that means it's, yeah, Miners ball. Four seconds left in the game, still tied. It's Jackson with the dagger, or, or so we thought, as they would review it, give the Raiders less than a second. But uh, with that second, yeah, nothing doing on that Hail Mary shot. Miners living la vida loca as they pull off the upset, 65 to 62. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips joins us once again live from the Don Haskins. Rachel, uh, what a moment for this minor program and for head coach Kevin Baker. Yeah, you can say that again, Adrian. What a moment it truly was. This just the second time in program history the UTEP Miners have ever knocked off a ranked opponent. As we've been saying all day long, the first time, well, you got to go back to January 31st of 1998 against Utah, the number 11th ranked team in the country, tonight against the number 21 ranked team in the country. Head coach Kevin Baker said post game that from the jump, he knew win, lose, or draw that his team came to play tonight. And well, they they did just that. The defense in particular standing tall all night long, coming up time and time again. No more so than in the last minute of the game right here. The Miners defiant. They wouldn't let Middle Tennessee get a clean shot in, and they didn't. That won them the ball. And then after Jazzy on Jackson made that winning three, there was still 0.4 seconds left on the clock. And they forced Middle Tennessee to take the shot from the sideline, just showing once again their defense was there. With just nine players available to play tonight and their starting point guard out, it was a team effort through and through and something nobody on this team will forget for a long while yet. Once I started double, I caught for it, uh, shot it, and... You know, the rest is history. <laughs> I'm so glad that this team uh, was able to accomplish something like that because I've been saying all year long they're a special team, and they are, and they're just different. They're just different. They're smart. They're resilient. We handed them their first conference loss, but at the same time, we always had the talent, and I always knew we could do it. We probably haven't lately haven't played as well as we should but today we showed up and showed out and I'm proud of us yeah the miners cutting a 16 game win streak for Middle Tennessee to get the win here tonight coach Baker saying it's probably one of the biggest wins of his career as UTEP head coach now they have to enjoy this win but also somehow regroup because they host the number two team in Conference USA on Saturday here at 1 p.m. in Western Kentucky for now reporting live from the Don Haskins Center Rachel Phillips ABC 7 thank you very much Rachel